Good morning. Welcome to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido. Uh, on the latest episode of our Grand Adventure, uh, my wife Patricia, our dogs, and I are here in the Coconino National Forest, about halfway between Flagstaff and Sedona, Arizona. Uh, we're dry camping, dispersed camping, boondocking, whatever you want to call it, uh, here on Forest Road 535. Uh, as you can see, it's a beautiful morning temperatures last night got a bit nippy down into the 30s uh, but it's warming up quickly along with that warmth though is the breeze is returning yesterday I wouldn't call it a breeze I would call it a gale uh, we've left we got a little bit of a late start leaving Navajo National Monument outside of Shanto Arizona a little further northeast of here and that was a brutal headwind the whole way um, I think I averaged about six miles per gallon towing. Uh, it definitely impeded our progress to the point where we had to abandon our plans to swing by the Grand Canyon on our way to get here. Um, now we're here for three nights, so we may well backtrack and get back to the Grand Canyon uh, to the South Rim area. Um, in the meantime, today we're going to explore this area a bit. Head a little a few miles south down into Sedona which none of us have ever been to, but we hear is absolutely gorgeous. So we're looking forward to exploring down there. Um, I'll show you around camp first, and then let's go do a little exploring. Okay, now let's go check out Sedona. Shortly after turning south from our camp, Arizona Route 89A drops via several precipitous switchbacks into the surprisingly lush Oak Creek Canyon, the northern gateway to Sedona. The canyon walls rise and turn from gray to red, transporting the traveler into an entirely different climate zone, nearly 3,000 feet lower than our camp. Known for its climate and a vibrant arts community, Sedona is a tidy town of red soil, desert sage, juniper, and cactus, surrounded by towering red rock monoliths. Route 89A becomes Sedona's bustling main street as it passes through town, lined by all manner of tasteful art galleries, new age spas, restaurants, boutiques, cafes, and a handful of small hotels. On the south side of town, the Chapel of the Holy Cross, built into the surrounding rock in 1956, is a popular tourist destination. But perhaps Sedona's best tourist attraction is its natural beauty. Hiking trails stretch from town in nearly every direction, allowing the visitor to bond with the nature of the spectacular northern Arizona desert. Well, Sedona is spectacularly beautiful, but I think what we're going to do before it gets dark is head north and check out historic downtown Flagstaff as well. 
but first, gotta let the dogs pee. Morning again. Another fine morning in the Cucanino National Forest, Northern Arizona. You're probably wondering whatever happened to our footage from Flagstaff. Well, we changed our mind as we were driving back from Sedona. We decided we would tack on Flagstaff to the end of what was already a very busy day today. Uh, we're going to make a big loop to try and catch up on some things that, frankly, we've missed already. Um, we're going to Sunset Crater National Monument. We're going to Wapaki National Monument. Those two are largely going to be drive throughs uh, sunset especially, but Wupaki will stop and take a look at some of the ancient Pueblos. Um, then we're going to swing by the south wind of the Grand Canyon, uh, take in the vistas there. Uh, somehow, in 51 years on this earth, I've never seen the Grand Canyon. So, uh, that'll be a good stop. Um, probably spend a lot less time there than most people would just because we're going to be on the road um, we're going to come back through the san francisco peaks planning on making a slight detour to uh, uh, arizona snowball which is a ski resort on the west slope of humphreys peak and then we'll finish up hopefully right around happy hour in flagstaff so Come along with us today, and we'll see what we can find. We started out our day with the numerous cinder cones and expansive lava flows of Sunset Crater National Monument, just north of Flagstaff. That was followed closely by nearby Wupaki National Monument. Nestled between the Painted Desert and Ponderosa Highlands, Wupaki is a landscape of legacies. Ancient Pueblos dot red rock outcroppings across miles of prairie. Where water and food seem impossible to find, ancient people once built Pueblos, raised families, farmed, traded, and thrived. Then it was on to my first visit to the Grand Canyon. I'll be the first to admit that the vistas are absolutely stunning, but I'm certain to draw the ire of many of you by proclaiming that, quite honestly, I was left somewhat underwhelmed. Perhaps I'm jaded, for over the years I've been blessed by many smaller but essentially similar views that I've enjoyed in veritable solitude across the western deserts. In contrast, at the Grand Canyon, I was surrounded by a plethora of people, tour buses, gift shops selling kitschy trinkets, and cafes offering lunch, beer, wine, and ice cream. It was difficult to simply get a shot of video without people crowding into the picture. I'm currently not in shape for a 5,000 vertical foot hike down into the canyon, followed by another 5,000 vertical feet of climbing back out. I'd love to raft the Colorado River through the canyon one day, but short of that, I'm left to elbow other tourists out of the way for a peek over the rim. That's not my kind of wilderness. Finally, we climbed the flanks of Humphreys Peak, Arizona's highest point at 12,633 feet, to take in some of the autumn colors at Arizona Snowball. Good morning. Well, we actually did manage to accomplish everything yesterday, which is rather shocking, uh, including even, yes, finally downtown Flagstaff, although I didn't film that for you uh, because it was just getting kind of dusk at that point. Uh, today we're heading off to Lake Mead, so we're going to get packed up here. Um, I'll end this video now. Don't forget to subscribe. Either click down below 
or right here on the screen if you're using your PC so that way you can come along on all of our grand adventures. We loved having you with us this trip and uh, we'll catch you on the next episode. Thank you very much. Take care.